Hello and welcome back to Tribeca 99's XCOM Enemy Within Classic Iron Man walkthrough. We are here in episode 4 of the mix mission section. Um, we have here a, an abduction mission. We've got a decent squad here. We lost our support earlier so we're having to bring a rookie in with a med kit but we do still have our heavy assault and sniper and the sniper has squad sight which is something uh, that's extremely valuable on most missions. So here we go. Going all the way to Europe for this one. Prepare for deployment, strike one. France is sending an urgent mission request. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien. This is Big Sky. Okay. So here we are. We need to find the meld, obviously. What we're going to do is check whether there are any enemies inside in, in this area. Uh, first, we'll stack up and move through the building, and then generally after the first turn, it tells you where the first meld is. And we'll go ahead and, and beeline for that. Okay, so no enemies so far. Okay. Stack up on this door. On the move. And we want to put our sniper in a position where they can get. You know, if an enemy does show aye up, aye, they'll have line of sight. I don't know. It's tough to do until you know where the enemy is, but that is the goal. Now everyone will overwatch. Nope, there's melt melts back this way. Alright. Can we see the canister somewhere? Is that doesn't appear to be on the roof. can't really see it. Looks like we could probably get to the roof from that drain pipe in the back if we needed to. It's good to know where your roof entrances and exits are. So I guess we're going to come out this back door. Given our current location, we'll move through the building okay. and head out that back door. There's an argument to be made for potentially dashing in here, since we know there aren't any enemies. It will leave us not in Overwatch, so if the enemy does show up, we won't get free shots. But balancing that against uh, potentially getting, you know, melt, ma making a difference in us being able to get both melt canisters or not, it might be Moving worth out. it. So actually, given that all these doors are closed, none of them are windows, these are solid walls, there's no way the enemy's behind us. I think I am actually going to kind of do that. I'm going to just dash out into the open so that we Roger can get that. closer to that door for the next turn. Heading to that location. Hopefully the enemy doesn't barge in on us. That is the risk of, Moving of to doing position. this. On my way. Okay, there we go. This is not something I would ever have done in the base game, uh, but I'm doing it now because of the possibility of, you know, really trying to get both melt canisters. Moving out. Headed there now. to do with my sniper. I think I'm just gonna dash into that TV. And everyone else will overwatch. We'll open the door on our next turn. I mean in theory we could open the door this turn, right? But I don't I never like opening doors and uncovering a big new area. Oh there's enemies over there. What was that? 
It's not great that they're around the corner. I'd rather they be over here where we're more likely to get line of sight. If I had to hazard a guess, Ooh. Based on its profile, okay, our first sighting of the new seeker the enemies. Of tracking and, isolating single targets. and they've gone into stealth mode. I've read a little bit about this Perhaps ability. We try to avoid At least I knew tentacles. they could do that. Uh, and they can strangle us. So they have some strangle ability. I don't know exactly how this works. Oh, there's only one turn. I have to get that meld on this turn. That's dangerous though because I heard sound over there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get, grab this meld. Yeah, there's the sound I heard. It's thing. I'm gonna activate that meld canister and then run the F away. Collect the melt canister. This is the only reason I did this, is because I knew that at the very least, if something like this happened, which I strongly suspected it might, I'm that I can dash it. back and get back into cover. And now, considering that that just happened, uh, the safest thing will be to go into Overwatch here. And here. I guess here. Whoa! Okay. Coming out of the okay, we killed it. Cool. So I guess when those things go into stealth, going into Overwatch is a good thing. Wow, he's stuck to the TV. Hello. Ow. Oh my god. He just killed my heavy. And everyone's panicking. That's great. Oh, at least we killed him. Good job, rookie. Okay, this is pretty scary. I have two of my squad members in panicked. One of them dead. And yeah. And there's still one of those seekers around, invisible, apparently about to appear. Um, plus that thin man. Why does it say I'm flanked? I guess that probably means the invisible seeker is out here somewhere, or, or somehow this guy has me flanked? I don't really understand that. I think, even though it's going to poison me, it's gonna poison me. That's almost sure death for someone with only five health. Although at least I have a med kit. I could heal myself on the following turn. I think I have to kill this guy. Or maybe maybe I can just go over here and go into Overwatch. No, because he could flank. He could come out here and flank. Although he doesn't really have good cover. He will be standing in the open, my guys will come out of panic and kill him. The AI doesn't usually just run out into the open purely to flank if it if they know it means they're gonna die on their next turn. You know, I could come out and stand in the open somewhere where I'm not gonna get poisoned. I hope that doesn't poison me. God, it's hard to tell. I could come stand right here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll risk being in the open in order to get a kill on this guy. Although, uh, you know, with an assault rifle, there's no guarantee I'm going to kill him either. It's pretty likely in the open because of the crit, you know, the crit chance. I think I need to just move here and overwatch. Although he could come around the corner of the door and get a shot at me and my overwatch wouldn't trigger because he wouldn't actually be moving in my line of sight, which is problematic. Oh, he didn't. He didn't move. So wherever he is, he's probably in overwatch. Seems like a good time to use my assault. I'm going to hope he's still in that same position. And if he's not, I can Position potentially confirmed. run and gun to try and kill him. There he is. He is in Overwatch. Don't kill me. Okay, at least I'm not dead. Uh, 
Uh, now I could kill him from there, but that's going to poison me. Um, geez. No, that's no good. Uh, um, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna just kill him right here because as much as I hate standing in out in the open what I can do I'll get poisoned but I can right away come in with a med kit and heal myself it'll heal this damage I just took and get rid of the poison um, I'm gonna be standing the, the, the guy with the med kits gonna be standing out in the open but I think we just have to live with it. oh he didn't kill him anyway fascinating Alright, well I do like getting kills with my sniper. There's clearly no other enemies around here except for that seeker who's invisible and clearly can break cover anyway. Being in cover against an invisible seeker is of no use. So I'm just going to move out here with the sniper. You know, I like leveling my snipers when I can and I can just use a pistol to finish this guy off so I'll get some XP. Alright. Did that? That didn't poison my assault. That's awesome. I was sure that was going to poison me. But it looks like... I don't know why the poison didn't extend over to where I am, but it didn't. Um, okay. So now I can go ahead and come out and heal. I guess that's what I'll do. Easy now, soldier. And there's the other seeker. And it's strangling me. I guess we'd better kill it. 99% with the pistol, only 47 with the sniper but the pistol doesn't do nearly enough damage so I better shoot with the rookie first oh the rookie has a level but I gotta shoot with the rookie first clearly um, and might as well move into something resembling cover if something else some other enemy shows up only 77 percent that's pretty low okay we hit it it has three damage oh it stopped strangling at least oh does that mean I can shoot only 31 percent uh, it said recovering or something. Yeah, look, we're catching breath. I can't even move properly. Uh, probably is affecting my aim, but I might as well take the shot, because bloody heck, we gotta kill this thing. And I missed. So what do I do? I have a 27% chance to hit with a sniper rifle that will kill it. Versus 80% but no crit to hit with something that can only do 2 damage. So I can't kill it unless I hit with the sniper rifle. So I think I had might as well try. There's no sense in doing a headshot. One in four. It's not the worst odds in the world, but I missed. Alright, so hopefully it doesn't kill anyone here. Really gotta hope it doesn't kill anyone here. Oh, it's gonna run away. Fascinating behavior. Um, okay. Did you go anywhere where I can find you? Oh, I can find Thin Men. That's just great. Roof. Oh, there, there's the seeker. I can find it. Why can't my sniper see him? Oh my god. 45 and 1. I really gotta kill that thing. That's not cover. Oh, Jesus. My sniper can't see anything. Alright, well, I might as well move. We're here with the rookie get into cover. And hopefully we can kill the seeker now. We're gonna try, anyway. Make decisions 
here. Got him. Great job. Okay. Now, that guy obviously I can't kill. But I could run and gun. But I'm only in partial cover right now. Jeez, what am I going to do with my sniper? I have to get into some kind of cover, obviously. And we know there's a guy on the roof somewhere. This is a tough decision. I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to have a reasonable chance. You know, I only have a 1% chance to hit that guy from where I am, and that's because of the aim penalty at long range with shotguns. Getting up here, you know, I'll probably still only have about a 30% chance, and I'm low on ammo. Um, so it's not great using my running gun for that when I could use it for something better, so I'm just going to hunker. Um, no, I really want to be able to use my sniper on my next turn. Oh, maybe I'll just dash into heavy cover. I was thinking of going here and and uh, hunkering down, but I think the heavy cover might actually be better. So yeah, that gives me line of sight on both of them. Okay, so he's in there now. Commander. It would be preferable if we attempted to retrieve those canisters oh rather God. than destroying them. I already collected the canister. He hit me anyway. Oh my God, he hit my sniper too. Um, okay, so we have lost two of our operatives. We know one of the thin men is in here. He's standing right there. So I'm going to go ahead and run and gun Set him up, knock him to down. kill him. Moving to designated position. There he is. Alright, awesome. Okay, he missed this time. I mean, I was in heavy cover and hunkered down on that turn, so... Okay, 68%. Let's hope we get him. And as usual, you know, my sniper rifle is only guaranteed to do three, three damage, so we should try for the critical, because if we get the crit, that guarantees a kill. Got it. Okay. Okay, we're done. Not the best, given that we lost two operatives, but at least we were successful, got a canister of meld, and uh, things were looking pretty hairy there, so it could have been worse. See you at the next mission. Oh, I forgot one thing, uh, and that is to look at our level ups before we end the video. Okay, we've unlocked the officer training school, that's very nice. And we do have a promotion here. Ah, so our sniper is promoted to sergeant. So we can go with gunslinger or damn good ground. Now, damn good ground actually comes into play less often than you might think it would. Once we can fly, it's a little easier to get, uh, you know, elevation bonuses on your enemies. But the fact is, given that we took squad sight and not snapshot, um, that's gonna. That means that we're gonna need to use our pistol a lot more option. And this two damage basically makes a pistol like an assault rifle, and you know it makes a laser pistol like a laser assault rifle. It just gives our m makes our sidearm that much better. And you know we even saw a situation in this mission where I could have killed that thing if I could have done more than two damage with my pistol, um, and that would have been really useful. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take gunslinger. So that's it for the mission, and now I really will see you on the next mission.